Greetings, friends. Welcome to another edition of the Gospel Uncompromised. I am Pastor Darrell G. Bush from the Church of God, church that's built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Uh, so glad to have this opportunity to uh, share the word of God with you. We greet you with the words of grace and peace in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> now, we just wanted to uh, uh, come on and share a word with you, uh, even in these uh, difficult and trying times. Uh, we know that uh, the Lord is still good. All things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So that's the question that you uh, have to ask yourself in these days. Uh, are you, do you love God? Uh, and if, in fact, you do love God, then uh, this will work out uh, for your good. A lot of times, uh, you know, when we're in, in the midst of a test, when we're in the midst of trials, we can't see uh, what's going on. We, we uh, tend to focus on the pain, uh, focus on the hurt, uh, and as opposed to the lesson that God is trying to, to teach us, uh, even in these uh, uncertain times, and even if, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of sickness, a lot of death going on, but God is, is still speaking in these uh, trying times. But we just have to uh, take a step back and listen to what God is saying. You know, the Bible says in, in Revelation, there's several uh, times in Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3, where the Bible says, He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And God is ministering to the church even in these uh, difficult and trying times. We'd like to uh, invite your attention to the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, uh, the uh, 29th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter uh, 29. Uh, and, you know, a, a lot of uh, people are down right now uh, because they can't meet at the places of worship. Uh, but uh, as I've been saying over the last several weeks, this is not a bad thing. This is actually a good thing uh, for people to be able to step back and, and really uh, examine themselves to see where they stand. So, many, so much of, of people's uh, faith is based almost exclusively on, on what their pastor uh, says. Uh, so much of people's uh, uh, praise is based on uh, going to a building. Well, I, I'm going to tell you, I found out over the years that some of your best praise is, is when you're all by yourself. You know, you don't have any, any, any distractions. You can, you can go, you don't have to be at a, 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 a church building. You don't have to be amongst the crowd. You can praise God all by yourself. And that's what we have to learn uh, how to do uh, in, in, this, in this hour. Deuteronomy chapter 29, uh, and at verse, we'll begin at verse uh, 2, where the God says, And Moses called unto all Israel and said unto them, Ye have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt unto Pharaoh and unto all his servants, and unto all his land. So we, we, God has been good to us down through the years. God has, has taken care of us. He's blessed us over and over again. And, uh, and, that, and that's, that's very typical. Once we run into uh, some difficulties, we tend to forget all that God has done for us. We, we, we tend to forget how God has, has, has brought us out. And we just want to focus on the what's going on right now. But God has been good to us down through the years. You wouldn't be where you are today if it wasn't, had not been for the Lord who was on your side. <clears throat> so, so the word of God says, and Moses called unto all Israel, said unto them, Ye have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt unto Pharaoh and unto all his servants, and unto all his land. We've been in tough times before. We've been in tight spots before, and God has brought us out, and he's going to see us through this. I have every confidence. I'm not worried 
in the least. I know God is going to take care of me. And we have to stand on that. That's what the enemy wants you to do. The enemy wants you to panic. You know, and, and, and you know, Moses is, is, is exhorting the, the uh, uh, Israelites here and, and he's rebuking them even uh, because, you know, all they have to do is just think back to the way things were when they were in captivity. <clears throat> Look at verse 3. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 29 and then verse uh, 3, the word of God says, The great temptations which thine eyes have seen, the signs, and those great miracles, those the great miracles that they witnessed. I mean, they were out journeying, journeying and, and didn't have any water, and uh, 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 Moses struck a rock and out sprang water. You know, God fed them uh with manna, although it wasn't what they wanted, it, you know, after a while they got tired of it, but they were still eating. God was providing for them. And so times might be tough for you right now. You may not be able to have the, that, uh, you know, that ribeye or that filet mignon, but you're still eating. And the great temptations which thine eyes have seen, the signs, and those great the miracles. Verse 4, watch this. Yet the Lord hath not given you a heart to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear unto this day. <laughs> see, you can't even see what God has done for you. You're just so caught up on what you're going through right now that you can't even see what all that God has done for you. Let me read again. Watch this verse 4, Deuteronomy 29 and, and at verse 4, he said, Yet the Lord hath not given you a heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear unto this day. You still can't even see what, what's going on. But he that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. God is, is, is speaking, even, even though it doesn't, doesn't seem like it, he's still speaking. <clears throat> okay, go go to go to Hebrews real quick, and it, it's something I want you to see there. And we looked at this a couple of weeks ago, but we'll, we'll, we'll journey back to it. Uh, Hebrews chapter uh, twenty-five. Hebrews chapter uh, twenty-five, and uh, <clears throat> I, I want to look at something there. Hebrews chapter uh, twenty-five. And then uh, it's a couple other scriptures I want to uh, share with you. I don't want to be too long, uh, but I just do want to drop a word to just try to encourage us in this time to, to continue to look to God, even though uh, these times are very difficult. Uh, let me get over here to Hebrews chapter 25. Amen. In chapter 25. Hebrews chapter, uh, Hebrews chapter 12. I'm sorry. Hebrews chapter 12. At verse 25, Hebrews chapter 12, at verse 25, the word of God says, see that ye refuse not him that speaketh. So, so don't shut your ears off. God is still speaking. See that you refuse not him that speaketh. For if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth, how much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven? See, even in the middle of this, this tragedy, even in the middle of this trial, God is still speaking. But he that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Whose voice then shook the earth. The whole world is feeling this. Whose voice then shook the earth, but now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more, I shake not only the earth only, but heaven also. My God, in this thing, this uh, COVID-19 or, or coronavirus is being felt the world over. And this word yet once more signifies the removing of things that are shaken as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken, they remain. See, we, 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 we're finding, uh, we're going to find out what you're really made of. And God's going to, God, God tests his people. He tests his people because he there are two folds to, to all testing. One, God wants to show you what's in you. 
See, there's some toughness in you. There's some things in you that you weren't even that you didn't even realize. And you wouldn't know had you never been tried. And then secondly, and, and God wants to reveal himself to you. God wants to reveal himself to you. So many people, uh, uh, you know, they have such confidence in, and they were so proud of their, their, their 401k. Uh, you know, they were so proud of their job and, and all of that's been taken away. And now you, you don't have really, you really don't have a choice but to trust in God. And this word yet once more signified the removing of those things that are shaken. And, and see, in, in, the, in the storms, in the trials, whatever you lose. See, there was something, some people just hanging around you just, just because you were able to be a blessing to them. Whatever you lose in the midst of the storm, when, when you come out of the storm, don't go back and pick it up. When you when you're down and out, the friends that 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 are, are with you through your trials, through your heartache, through your pain, those are your real your, your, your real friends. And yet this and this word yet once again signified the removing of those things which are shaken. We're finding out what's really important now. What's really important. The removing of those things which are shaken as those that are made. Those things which cannot be shaken may remain. See, see the things that can't be shaken. See, and now some people, some people will foolishly turn their back on God in this, in this hour. <clears throat> but you didn't belong to God in the first place. If you can't go through trials with with the Lord, see, there's some people that oh, they can they don't they can praise and they can dance and they can shout. They can run all around buildings when when things are going well. But the minute things are going bad, it's why God. Where's God? Well, verse verse twenty eight. Now we're in Hebrews chapter twelve and verse twenty eight, and where God says, "Wherefore we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved." Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay. Journey back now, if you will, to uh, uh, Matthew. And I, I'm, I'm almost done. Matthew uh, chapter 13. Matthew chapter uh, 13. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13, and uh, we'll pick it up at verse number 10. Amen. Matthew chapter uh, 13, and at verse 10, and I said, now as I said, God is yet speaking. He's still speaking. <clears throat> Matthew chapter uh, 13, and at verse 10, the word of God says, and the disciples came and said unto them, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Why speakest thou unto them in parables? See, there's some people that can't, they have no idea what's going on. Spiritually speaking, they, 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 their ears are dull. Look at verse 11 now, and the word of God says, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, and unto them it is not given. We're finding out who uh, will just go to church just, just to have something to do on Sunday. We're finding out who really have a prayer life. Because it, you wouldn't be shaken if you were grounded and rooted in the word of God. This wouldn't move you. <clears throat> Because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given. See, we know, the, the, the true believer knows that whatever comes my way, God is working it for my good. Somehow, some way, it's going to come out to, to my good. <clears throat> Verse 12, watch this. Word of God says, for whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. 
whosoever. So whoever had a, a true relationship with God, this thing is only going to come along and make it stronger. Your faith will be strengthened. But watch this. Whosoever had, to him shall be given. And who shall ever have, and he shall have more abundance. You're going to come out of this thing even stronger. But watch this. But whoso hath not, whosoever hath not, to him shall be taken away. If you if you were hypocritin, if you were flim flamming, if you were pretending, man, this thing is shaking you. And the little you your your hip your hip hypocrisy is gonna be exposed. And your faking gonna be taken away from you. But we're verse 13. Now watch this. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing, because they see they seeing see not. All of this, this <clears throat> we're seeing biblical prophecy unfolding. So we shouldn't be panicking. The, the, the true believers shouldn't be panicking. He told us there will be wars and rumors of wars. There will be earthquakes in diverse places. He told us that there will be pestilence. Therefore, see, therefore, speaking to them in parables, because they seeing, see not, and they don't have a clue what's going on. And hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. They don't understand. Well, this is baffling the world more. Verse 14, watch this. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which said, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. Don't understand what's going on. In verse 14, Lord, watch this. The word of God says, For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. Ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. They they have closed their eyes. Well, watch this. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their hearts and should be converted and should and I should heal them. See, you can be converted. If you if if you remove yourself from this world, disconnect from the, the world thing. He told us to love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. So this is why uh, a true saint, a true believer in the word of God, when, when, if you happen to lose some things, yes, it hurts, but it won't destroy you. We're, we're cast down, but we know we're not forsaken. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes See, when, when you, you really is going to see what's, you, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Man, when God come along and reveal something to you, it's absolutely amazing. I remember uh, the first time I got uh, glasses. I, 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 you know, went many years that I should have had glasses, but I just didn't want to. Uh, but finally, when I got to the ninth grade, uh, it was just, I, I couldn't see the board at all. It was just blurry. And I finally went broke down and, and, and went and got glasses. I'm not telling you, man, the first time I put those glasses on, it was absolutely amazing, all the things that I was not seeing. You know, of course, um, you know, I wore glasses and contacts for about 20, uh, 25 years or so, and I had the uh, LASIK surgery done, uh, oh, goodness, probably about, uh, I guess about 13 years ago or so. <coughs> but it is it's, it's amazing. The first time I put those glasses on, what I could see. But I had to humble myself to realize, look, I need this help. Therefore, these people's hearts are wax gross and their eyes and, the, and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their hearts and should be converted and I shall heal them. <laughs> But, but look at verse, verse 16. Watch this. But blessed are your eyes. Blessed are your eyes. 
for they see, and your ears, for they hear. It's a blessing to know and understand what's going on in these times. That's why I'm not panicked. That's why the true saints of God are not panicking. We're not paranoid. But blessed are your eyes. It's a blessing to understand the word of God. It's a blessing to know that God has, even, even in uncertain times, God has my best interest at, at stake. Blessed are your eyes for they see. And your ears for they hear. It's a blessing to be in tune with the spirit and know what's going on. To know what's really going on. <clears throat> Look at verse 17. Watch this. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. You see the, the, the prophets in the Old Testament, they didn't even have the revelation that we have now. They didn't have it. But God came along and we, we are living. This is, a, this is an exciting time to be alive. We get to see and experience the hand of God. It's an exciting time to be alive. Amen. What are you going to do today? You know, the, there's an old saying that, that tough times don't last, but what tough people do. And, you know, I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, now don't waste this opportunity. Don't waste this opportunity. Uh, take advantage of it. You know, this is a time right now you can do a good deep dive uh, into yourself to make some self-examination. The Bible uh, tells us uh, uh, to examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith or not. So the fact that you can't uh, right now, uh, you can't go to a, a, a church building. Uh, this is a perfect time for you to really do some good self-examination to see where you stand. <clears throat> OK, drop back now here. We're still in the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew, I want to go back to chapter um, 7, Matthew chapter 7, amen, amen, Matthew chapter 7, and uh, uh, we'll be, we're going to pick it up at verse 21, Matthew chapter 7, and at verse 21, amen, amen, Matthew chapter 7, and verse 21, and the word of God says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, so you had a whole lot of folk, they, they, they uh, uh, were just talking Jesus, but God, Jesus wasn't in them. And, and we're finding that out now. You know, my grandmother used to say all the time, she said, everybody that claim Jesus don't mean Jesus. <clears throat> Adversity proves character. You, you, if, if you follow this ministry any length of time, you probably heard me say it at least a hundred times. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But everybody that had that honk, if you love Jesus, bump a sticker on the car. Don't, they don't love Jesus. Because trials and tough times, you're gonna still, you're gonna still walk in the spirit. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Watch this, look this. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. He that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. See, right, right now, it is, it's a great display of the fruits of the Spirit. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Look at verse 22. For many will say unto me, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? A oh, whole bunch of folks was prophesying, but where are they now? <laughs> Amen. You know, uh, it, back in January, you know, the new year uh, coming into 2020, you had a whole lot of people prophesying, talking about all of the great things that God was going to do in 2020. Hmm? Where are those prophets? Those, those so-called healed. Where's Benny Hinn? 
Where's Benny Hinn? Why don't, why don't he just go up to New York right now and, and just have a, one of those crusades? You know, where he blowing on people and, and take his jacket and, and hit people with his jacket. Oh, we, we need that jacket now. But where is he at? All of these prophets and, you know, giving all these prophesying, prophesying about houses and cars and that people never get. Now, no, not one prophet, so-called prophet that I'm aware of, said anything about this. We're in the season of exposure. Many will say unto me, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, listen, listen, now watch this, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever shall hear, does whosoever hear it, these sayings of mine, and do it them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Where are you building today, friends? Where are you building today? A wise man which built his house upon a rock. What? Look at verse 25. Watch this. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. Are you, are you built on a rock? Did you, did you really mean Jesus? Do you really mean Jesus? <clears throat> but look at verse 26, verse 26. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doth them not, See, you know, a lot of folks around here claiming Jesus, but they live in just as, their lives are just as crooked as an S. They're homemongers, they're fornicators. And you see right now with, all, with this, this, this shelter in place thing, is, thing going on, they can't do all of that. And everyone that hears these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Watch this. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. And, and here come the least little trial that come along, and people are falling apart. You know, I, I, I saw an article uh, that the, the, the suicide rates are, are, are climbing exponentially. Domestic violence or climbing is, is climbing e exponentially. You know, see all them people that put on Facebook how they love they 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 bae. You, you, we're finding out what's in you. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat up on that house, and it fell. People are falling apart. And great was the fall of it. People are falling apart. But if you if you built your house on the rock, and the, the rock of Jesus Christ, even though things are not well, it may not be well with you right now, but you are still, I, you can say like David said, I look to the hills from which cometh my help. I'm not depending upon uh, this government. I'm not depending upon the these jobs because I know that God is still in control of this. I'm, I built my house on the rock, the rock of Jesus Christ, and it cannot go down. He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Amen, amen. We're going to leave it right there. We thank God for you. We thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hope I said something to help somebody. Praise the Lord.